Hey guys, welcome back. We're going to try to do another really quick video, just a, a quick review, just to let you know that these are out here. I think I'm one of the few people that has all of them side by side and actually use them in the field. But um, we did a video a uh, few months back when the half Nelson and the full Nelson, which is half Nelson and full Nelson, which are the direct thread titanium cans from Q available at Silencer Shop. Now the Trash Panda and the Thunder Chicken, which are the Quick Connect uh, suppressors, are now available at Silencer Shop. The, the only difference basically is that uh, Direct Thread and then the Thunder Chicken and Trash Panda use what Q is calling the Cherry Bomb. And each suppressor comes with two, one for your one half by 28 and one by, for your 5 eighths by 24. So you get both. Uh, the, the Cherry Bomb is 1.6 inches long and weighs two ounces. Now, another thing, I'm sure you can see it here, the half Nelson is only about an eighth of an inch shorter than the uh, Trash Panda. But the full Nelson direct thread is almost, well, almost a half an inch longer than the Thunder Chicken, which I found is interesting. So your, your Thunder Chicken is 8.1 inches. Your full Nelson is 8.9 inches. The half Nelson, which is again the direct thread on, is 6.9 inches, while your Trash Panda is also 6.9 inches, so you're, you're right there. The half Nelson, of course, without the break is 12.2 is, uh, ounces. The Trash Panda is 11.8, but then you have to add the two ounces from the mount. Same thing with the Thunder Chicken. Thunder Chicken is 8.1 inches, 14.7 ounces, while the Full Nelson is 8.9 inches again and 16.6 .6 ounces. But even though this one's a little bit lighter, 14.7, you have to go 15, 16.7. So with the mount, it actually weighs 0.1 ounce more. So basically right there at the same distance. I don't have the decibel readings for the Trash Panda or the, the uh, Thunder Chicken, but I do have them for the Half Nelson and the Full Nelson. And on the Full Nelson, on a 7 inch subsonic 300 blackout, say like the Honey Badger here, 7 inch 300 uh, blackout with 220 grain subsonics is 121 decibels. With 110 grain subsonics, still 7 inch barrel like the, the Honey Badger there, you're getting up to 129 decibels. Now if you go up to supersonic 308, then you're at 100 and 30 decibels which is pretty outstanding these things have an awesome tone I, I love the tone of these cans to me it's deep and it just even if it's not quieter than the, the can next to it it sounds quieter and has a better better tone I can only assume with the cherry bomb on here silencer shop is about to to do the decibel test here but I wanted to go ahead and get this video out because there's so many seems like people have so many questions. I can only assume that this being a little bit shorter with the Cherry Bomb is going to be right at the same. I, I would guess that they're going to be right right next to each other. I think the Trash Panda is going to be a little bit quieter than the Full Nelson with your muzzle brake and all that in there. So that that is my guess. But either way, they're going to be really close to each other. So just think 130 decibels. Um, on these for sub supersonic 308 129 decibels but that's with a seven inch barrel supersonic 300 blackout and then 121 decibels subsonic on the longer two that's the thunder chicken and the full nelson now on the the half nelson i don't again i don't have the numbers on the trash panda but the half nelson is 133 on a seven inch subsonic blackout it is 136 on a supersonic 7 inch blackout and then it's 140 decibels on a 16 inch supersonic 308 so again I think I personally think that this uh, 
trash panda is going to be a little bit quieter. I have my um, LWRC 556 here and we'll just that's it. I've, I've shot these on again I've used it on my uh, 12 inch Reaper Mark II here. I'll give you a close up but the carbon buildup is right up to where the taper mount starts and then it's perfectly clean out there. So you get a complete seal. It has not come loose. I've shot it probably the most on this. I've gone through uh, several hundred rounds now and I only took it off just now to, to do this demo. It was not loose. It has not come loose once, not worked its way free at all. It has um, completely stayed on there. So um, no worries about that. I know some people had some questions about that. I'm going to put a link up into the description uh, for you to check these out at Silencer Shop. You can go ahead and order them now. They are available. They are super light. To me, they have the best tone out there. They sound amazing. Um, I'm very impressed with the, the, the Q products. I've, I had always been impressed with the SIG products, which these are basically just um, the next step up from, from the SIG suppressors. And um, I think they have a great tone. I would highly recommend them. I, when going out with people, I prefer to use these right now almost over anything that's available. Uh, thank you for watching. Please comment below if I missed anything. I'll try to answer the questions. And uh, like and share the video. Thank you for watching.